The scripture for this sermon, The Scripture Way of Salvation, is found in Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8. You have been saved through faith. The genuine religion of Jesus Christ is easily understood. The Bible is all about salvation and faith. First of all, what is salvation? While it is true that salvation is about going to heaven after death, the good news is that we can actually receive this gift and experience it now. It all starts with God's prevenient grace, which draws us through repentance of our sin toward the moment of salvation, which consists of two parts, justification and initial sanctification. At the moment of salvation, when we put our faith in Jesus' atoning death for our sins, we receive justification, the pardon of all our sins, along with God's peace and joy. At the same time, initial sanctification begins as we are born again, causing a real and loving change within us. Now many think that sin is now gone from the new believer. But actually, a war now begins between our flesh and the new indwelling Holy Spirit. Experience clearly shows that sin begins to rise up again in the form of pride and doubt. And so a growing work of sanctification begins in us as we cooperate with the Spirit to become more and more dead to sin and more and more alive to God until we receive entire sanctification by faith. So what is this faith that saves us? It is a supernatural awareness of God working all around us and in us. A conviction that Christ loved even me and died for me, leading to an assurance through the Holy Spirit that I am a child of God. It is by this faith that we are justified and initially sanctified. So how are we justified and entirely sanctified? First, everyone who believes in Jesus Christ is justified. Faith is the only condition. Yes, repentance and a desire to change generally come before justifying faith, if there is time and opportunity. But how are we entirely sanctified? We are also entirely sanctified by faith as well. This second faith is the only condition. But there is a second repentance and good works that come before this sanctifying faith. And these are both, in a sense, necessary also. But the second repentance is different. It knows that sin remains in the heart, but it does not reign. This repentance is a conviction that sin still clings to all our words and actions, and we are helpless in ourselves to remove it. What are the good works that are necessary? Works of piety, like prayer, Bible study, and fasting. And works of mercy, like helping the poor and visiting the sick. All of these help lead us to entire sanctification. Thinking that all sin is removed at justification, many Christians miss this opportunity to be entirely sanctified. But even if we are mistaken about entire sanctification, we are prepared for the Lord's return. The second repentance and good works come before this faith, again, if there is time and opportunity. What is this second faith whereby we are entirely sanctified? It is a divine evidence and conviction that, first, God has promised it in his word. Secondly, that God can totally fill our heart with love. Thirdly, that God can do it now. And finally, trusting that God has done it. And so, whether gradually or instantaneously, expect to be entirely sanctified by faith. Expect it as you are. Expect it now.